But first, it's that dazzling match at Upton Park yesterday. West Ham against Manchester United. And for the 32,000 crowd, it was an afternoon in the most beautiful sunshine when they really got value for money. First out onto the green inviting pitch at Upton Park were West Ham, fielding an unchanged side, with Peter Grotier continuing in goal for Bobby Ferguson, who's still in dispute with the club. It means, too, that Pat Holland keeps the number nine shirt, and Addy Coker is now the substitute. But no team are greater favourites with football crowds than Manchester United, now with Bobby Charlton restored to the side in an effort to produce their first win of the season. Certainly there's no lack of individual skill in their lineup when you think of players like that incomparable snatcher of goals, Dennis Law. Like Bobby Charlton himself. And also like George Best, who is still to get back to his true form for United. And then there's Ian Moore, their big buy from Nottingham Forest. And in this company now, West Ham's Dudley Tyler, last season with Hereford in the Southern League. Referee today, Gordon Hill of Leicestershire, always respected by the players. And now we wait for his signal to start the game. So the first touch there for George Best, with Manchester United in their change strip of yellow shirts with blue trimmings, defending the goal to our left. West Ham in their famous claret and blue, and both sides wearing a black armband in respect of Prince William. Robson now for West Ham. West Ham have had two wins here at Upton Park this season, but uh, have a run of three away defeats. Taylor and Manchester United who have yet to win anywhere, and in fact have scored only twice in their first six games, so uncharacteristic of them. Nice little bit of play there by Best to Pat Holland, and Holland having his cross cut out by Dennis Law. Morgan to O'Neill. But such is the drawing power still of Manchester United. There's a good crowd here. And in fact, some of them had already started queuing at 7 o'clock this morning. Towards uh, George Best, but McDowell very positive in the air there. Brooking turning it on for Billy Bonds with a chance to shoot one and a fraction wide. Bonds, who very often produces an explosive shot, got one wide of Stepney, but also wide of the post. Best, little enough space there, coming off Sadler but finding uh, O'Neill. Morgan. Moore. Two Moores and two Bests on the field today. That's Ian Moore, the Manchester United variety. And that's the other one you know, of course. to Lampard. Bonds right up there, but a glancing header that goes for Bobby Charlton. Ian Moore to David Sackler. The flick inside for Buckley. Bobby Charlton. And Steve James. Straight at Brooking, and that'll fall for Best, and into the path of Brooking once more. Best. Done in very close uh, attention there on uh, Clyde Best. Brooking finding Tyler. And hitting one, but uh, behind that goal again. So we've already seen his ability to go round fullbacks and his eagerness there to shoot, Dudley Tyler. ahead of him, Morgan over on the right here, Law, Buckens still right up there in that West Ham penalty area, but O'Neill to George Best again, getting past Robson, still with Best, getting one go and a goal! George Best then scores his second goal of the season, the first came from a penalty, and really that was no more than a speculative shot. And you've got to put a question mark there against Peter Grotier. Maybe he was unsighted, but there really didn't seem to be the power there that should have earned a goal, but it's a goal that puts Manchester United into the lead with only ten minutes gone. <laughs> Foul by Steve James on Clyde Best, West Ham's free kick.
Moore taking it quickly. Bonds to Lampard. Moore in a position where he often likes to go forward and let one go. And he has had a tremendous save by Stepney. Moore, who loves nothing better to be left in a position like that with a bit of space and who really has a most powerful shot. George Best. Who really hasn't shown very much apart from one goal. And I suppose United are saying, well, that should be enough at the moment. But it's Lampard now for West Ham. O'Neill. And Holland jumping well. Lampard keeping it in well. And Holland going on. Turn now for Clyde Best and back for Brian Robson. Letting one go. And another fine save by Stephanie. That's two great saves by Stephanie. One from Bobby Moore and that one from Robson. Billy Morgan. Sadler. Oh, and he hustled that back and Clyde Best might get a chance yet. Best, in fact, had he not turned his back on it, might well have had another chance. And Sadler was totally unaware that Best was in such a dangerous position. Turned on superbly for Robson, and a goal! Oh, a wonderful goal for West Ham! What a superb goal! Blocking who made it with that lovely pass on for Robson. Robson who ran into the best possible position to turn it past Stepney. A really superb equalising goal for West Ham. Bonds to Tyler. Bonds again to Bobby Moore. And again Robson right in there. And Holland was almost there. In fact, he got a kick in the face. Robson is down and injured, but it was Holland who nearly got the header in. Off the field now and a little bit stunned. McDowell given little enough chance to get a shot there, though, by Tyler. Bonds. And now George Best. Bonds after him. And still George Best. Ball going, cutting one side of Lampard, sending him the wrong way, and still George Best. And it's still George Best with a shot that had Grotier down. And that really was the first piece of real George Best we've seen. More to Taylor. There really does seem to be such a lot of space for West Ham coming forward and there's more space here for McDowell. Cross this time, Holland couldn't quite get to it. Charlton waiting and McDowell went in. Taylor. McDowell. A low one this time, Buckland missed it completely. Tyler. What incredible little bit of skills now! Oh, just wide! From Dudley Tyler. Well, he was had about a yard to move with three defenders around him and he did the sort of things that best at his best would have been pleased to do and certainly Manchester United at the moment looking very ragged indeed Brian Robson the cross this time towards Clyde Best Dunn well presenting it again and it's a corner and United at the moment all at sea with each other, sixes and sevens. And another corner to West Ham. Taylor again up. Bonds once more on the edge of the six-yard area. Here's Tommy Taylor. As Tyler takes the left foot, in swinger. Best up well. Robson letting one go, and a deflection! Stepney spotted that very quickly. Clearly pushing more in the back. <laughs> Giving Bobby his version of it. Best. <laughs> Willie Morgan. Best. Clyde best after him. Still Willie Morgan. 
played nicely there by Morgan for Dennis Law Bobby Charlton Law still in there again and Ian Moore with a chance and a good piece of goalkeeping by Grotia that really was a fine smother save by Peter Grotia when it looked as though Ian Moore must restore the lead for Manchester United George Best killed and turned beautifully and played for Law to gallop onto it down the right now his socks at his ankles Best to Morgan Still United continuing to improve in this game. O'Neill, Law right in there. Bobby Charlton. To Tony Dunn. Best again towards Law. Challenged by Holland. Best. And Law. And Best. A great chance here. Moore. And Moore. Ian Moore. 2-1 to Manchester United. 14 minutes to go, and Ian Moore scores it. It's his first goal of the season for Manchester United. And it now, after there was a, a lot of hesitancy in that West Ham defence, it was Moore who caught it. Taylor. And Robson trying a one-two, but it was so crowded in there. Billy Barnes trying to get it wide for Tyler, and Dunn content to turn it into touch it's Tyler West Ham who've had so much more of the game and the chances have come their way but now for the second time find themselves behind Robson hitting the goal oh Robson two goals in a little more than a minute and Brian Robson makes it 2-2 the ball came across and Robson although the area was crowded with United defenders hit it first time and decisively into the corner 2-2 well there was some pushing there but was it by Sadler or was it by Best it was by Sadler giving West Ham an interesting looking free kick edge of that area, Moore wanting to take it and take it quickly and he has and Robson oh and a magnificent save by Stepney, denying Brian Robson his hat-trick, caught that beautifully with his head and United have come back into this game so much that uh, be a brave man who says which way it's going to go foul by Clyde Best on George Best and now this gives Manchester United, the interesting free kick. In a central position. Eight yards or so outside, maybe less, five yards outside that West Ham penalty area. Robson, Best and Brooking and Tyler in the wall. Joined by McElroy and by Bonds and Lampard. Not too much of a sight, I would think, for Grotier behind. To Bobby Charlton onto that left foot. They were slow to move for it. Oh, and what a save by Grotier. Ham really were slow in the wall to react to that free kick. Charlton had time to tee it up, and Grotier pulled off a most magnificent save. And Lampard. And that's the end of a very fine game of football indeed. Brian Robson with two goals for West Ham United. George Best, who scored one for Manchester United.